Garfish are one of my favourite summer species to catch. They're a great sporting fish, fantastic fun to catch on lake tackle, and you can catch them anywhere around the UK. Today we're on Chesil Beach and hopefully I'm going to prove that the seas behind me are teeming with garfish. It's going to keep it simple, rod, reel, light line, a bucket with some bait, a knife, a bubble float. That's how simple it is to go gar fishing. So the setup for gar fishing is pretty simple. I like to keep things as simple as possible. Obviously I've got some line which we're going to connect size 2 hook to. Some people say use a 4 or a 6. I don't think it's necessary to go that low uh, and also it helps unhooking the gar fish when you do catch one. Uh, mackerel, one of the best baits for gar fishing. Obviously a knife so we can cut the, the mackerel up. And I've got here two bubble floats. You can use a standard float, but I want to keep things really, really simple and use these bubble floats. We're going to use a yellow one today, just so that we can see things better on the video. Uh, but normally I would use a clear one, and it just uh, gives it a bit better presentation and not spook the garfish. But I've had plenty of garfish using this yellow one. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the lid off my bucket, which I've already filled up with some water. and then we're going to fill up the bubble floats. So simply take the little tube out that's in the centre of the bubble float, stick it in at the water at a bit of an angle and you can see from the bubbles that it's filling up now. So I normally like to fill it up to about three quarters, that way it sits nicely in the water but it gives me enough weight to cast it out. So I can see that's at three quarters now. I'm doing pushing the, the tube back into place and that's our bubble float filled up. That's one style of bubble float. With the clear style bubble float, there's two little lugs on it. We just need to make sure both lugs are out. Sink it into the water. Let it fill up. Again, about three quarters. Then just close both stoppers and that's it filled. So now I've filled up my bubble floats, I'm going to make up a hook link. So for my hook length I'm using Chromium Marine which is around about 17 pound breaking strain but it's very fine diameter so it won't spook the fish. What I'll do is just create a nice little loop in this, just take a good tag line, twist it over just to form a loop and this loop will make it easy to attach onto the your clip on your main line. And just cut that to make it nice and neat. And take about 18 to 24 inches line, cut it. Now what we're going to do is feed the hook length through the bubble float. So I've taken the little stopper out from there, feed it through the little loop on the stopper, through the tube in the centre of the bubble float, pulling it out and then just locking the hook length in with a stopper. So at any stage I can adjust the length of this by just releasing the stopper and then pulling out more or taking a bit more or, or freeing up a bit more line. But it'll depend on how how spooked the garfish are. We can go sometimes on a very, very short drop, sometimes we want the full 24 inches. So that's how simple it is to set up the bubble float. Just need to tie my hook onto there now. With using such a light line or a fine line, I like to put six or seven turns on my grin or not as opposed to the normal five turns that I would use. It just stops the line slipping and also just form it back so it's a tucked grinner knot. As usual make sure that you wet the knot, tug test, make sure it's it's nice and tight and that's it all set to go now. Just need to put a bit of mackerel on there and we'll get fishing. So now we're ready to put a bit of mackerel on. Today I'm just using frozen mackerel. Uh, if you're lucky enough to just quickly use a lure, you can catch your own mackerel. 
but I just want to show you the best way to use the mackerel. Just take a fillet from the mackerel. And just turn it over, because what we want to do is just take really the silver part of the mackerel. So we take, just cut a slither. If you cut it upside down, especially with frozen mackerel, it cuts a lot easier. If you try to cut it from the skin side, you tend to hack, hack the meat. So nice silver bit of mackerel. And I'm just going to nick it once right close to the top, twist it, come back out so that it comes back out through the skin. So that now looks like a little bait fish, or at least I think it does. And all we need to do now is clip this onto my main line, cast out and hopefully catch a garfish. Let's see if we can get one first cast. Once you've cast your float out, I just like to really slowly wind it in and it covers the whole, oh, there was a knock straight away there. Yeah, I've got a garfish taking it now. In fact, I can see two following it. I'm using sunglasses to give myself best chance. Ooh. Oh, that's not, a, that's not a garfish. What was that? Wow. <laughs> oh, straight on it. Oh, so close. Find the best method is just to slowly retrieve the float and it seems to bring the mackerel up in the into the water and the garfish will chase it and I feel him hitting it now and he's on yeah there we go this is only a only a small one very small by some of the fish that I've caught recently So just a very, very lively, as you can see. Oh, trying not to spin it round that speed. So there we go, lovely, lovely garfish. Let me just get him unhooked and away. It's probably a good idea to have a towel when you're unho unhooking these. So there we go. That's it, simple. Let me release him back into the water. Lost a few scales, but he'll be he'll recover. So he's off to fight another day. Let's see if we can get a bigger one than that. You don't have to cast out very far at all. 10, 15 yards at the most. And already I can feel fish on this a little bit quick on the strike. There's no need to strike, just let them hook themselves. Must be, oh, there we go. Oh, this is a nice one. Ah, this could be. Oh, nice bit of acrobatic. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Jumping out of the water like a sailfish. Fantastic fun. It's even taken some line off the clutch. Ho -ho! Oh, well, there you go. Well, I'll let him go back. That is why I love fishing for garfish. Time for that famous last cast. Hopefully, I'll get one on my last cast. We'll see.
so hard to leave when there's lots of fish around and they're still feeding but I can see some of what looks like mullet activity on the surface that would be interesting to get one of those as well in my last cast but I don't think that will happen Oh well, none on that last cast, but hopefully this video will show you just how easy it is to catch garfish. And as I said, they are my favourite summer species. Hope you catch some as well.